Okay, so today I'm going to show you spiral madness, the best way to work with the spiral tool. Spirals are something that's kind of taking the advertising and pack design and commercials by storm. Spirals are used a lot for motion flow, after effects projects, flash projects, package design. It's all over magazines and it's using the spiral. I'm going to show you the correct way to do this. First of all, notice I have my rulers. I always start with rulers so I have some kind of guide to work with. So I'm just going to put a guide roughly in the center of the page. Make a change, save a change. Now, also notice, also notice that I have a design layer. I always call my historic layer design layer. Once I design something, I then could choose to move it to a different layer, but my foundation layer is my design layer. Okay, now I always start out by selecting the A key. The A key selects the direct selection tool. I initialize the direct selection tool. Therefore, if I'm in the brush tool and I want to select, I simply hold down the command key. The command key. So I've got a nice flowing brush here. So let's actually give this brush, so let's basically give this brush 10 pixels of space. I'll show you a little trick here. Object path, path out on stroke. This is going to make the stroke the path into a nice stroke we can attach our spirals to. S for scale, and we're going to scale this up to 120%. If turn key, command and duplicate, what I've done is I've transformed the object. Anything that falls under the category of move, rotate, reflect, scale, I can repeat the transformation by simply hitting command D. So this is what we're going to attach our spirals to. I'm going to put this right here. Okay, now I'm going to create spirals, these simple, clean, fun, interesting, no break damage way. So I select the spiral. Now, if you create a spiral and hold down the arrow key, it's going to make less of a spiral up arrow, creates more of a spiral. So I want a spiral that looks like that. So there is my spiral. I want to give my spiral a stroke. So my spiral now has a stroke. Now I'm going to zoom into this command space bar. Now here's my technique that separates my technique from other people's techniques. Copying and pasting is not the correct way to create these next spiral. We go to the scale tool, pick a point to scale from. S selects the scale tool. Just the letter S, not command S, just the letter S. Pick a point to scale from and scale out. Hold down the option key to make a clone copy. Basically visually get the thickness. Hold down the shift key will constrain it. Get the thickness of your spirals. I want a spiral that looks like this. Okay. Now I'm going to join average, not just join. Object, path, path, join, path, average. These are two separate steps. So I can combine those two by selecting anchor points and hitting Command Shift Option J. Command Shift Option J. Join averages into a smooth point, smooth point, okay? Now, come over here, join these two ends, Command J, Command J. Now, notice it's stroked with red. I want to fill it with red. So I can exchange my fill for my stroke by simply hitting Shift X. Shift X is now going to fill it with red and stroke it with none. Command zero if it's window. Okay, so there's my spiral we're going to attach to this object. Okay, now here's my own personal technique for this. First of all, this spiral, I want a starting spiral. This spiral is way too big, so I'm going to hit the scale tool, S for scale, hit the return key, let's scale this down 50%. Now, my objective here, I want a whole bunch of spirals that I just can go to and grab. So I'm going to hit the tab key for a second to hide my palettes. Tab key hides my palettes. Tab key shows my palettes. Tab key hides the palettes. Tab key shows the palette. If I want to hide all the palettes except my tool palette, it's shift tab. Shift tab hides the secondary palette. Shift tab shows the secondary palettes. Tab key hides the palette. So here's my objective. I want to have a series. I'm just holding down the option key to make a clone copy. So I just want to have different size spirals to work with. So if I hold down the command key plus the option key, I can basically select through my spirals to get all the spirals. Important step. If you simply hold down the command key, you're going to get part of the spiral. 
I want to get the whole entire spiral. So I hold down command and option that gets the whole spiral. Then object transform each from its center point. Shortcut, command and shift, option D. So I'm going to scale these 65% and randomly scale them, randomly scale them. So they're not all the same. Command and shift, option D with scale. Now if I command D, that's going to duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So now I have these to work with, not one the opposite of these. So I hit the O key to get the reflection tool, pick a point to reflect from and reflect backwards. So now I have two sets of spirals to work with. One set of spirals going to the left, the other set of spirals going to the right. Simple, simple, simple. Now let's make another pair of these that are simply go be larger. As for scale, hit the return key. Let's make these 125% bigger. Now from this point, I can simply option grab these spirals. So I don't need to take the spiral. I can option grab the spiral. So I'm going to get started by selecting the spiral, putting a spiral here, option key. Now I wanted to rotate from this point. First of all, let's make this the same as my spiral. So I hit the I key for eyedropper and I sample the same color red. So now it's the same color red. So I'm going to pick the R for rotation tool, pick a point, rotate from, rotate out. So there's my spiral attachment. Then I want to attach this spiral here. Pick a point, rotate from, and rotate out. Then I'm going to take this spiral. I'm holding command click to click inside the fill. I'm going to option key drag the spiral down to here. Pick a point to rotate from, pick a point to rotate to. Okay. Then I'm going to hold down O key and get the reflection. O key is reflecting tool. Pick a point to reflect from, pick a point to reflect to. And just move this in a little bit about there. Okay. Then I'm going to have this spiral come off of here, et cetera, et cetera. Now, if you get in the habit of mastering, make a change, save a change, mastering the transformation tool. So when I click the transformation tool, when I select this object, I want to rotate from this point. So I select the R key, pick a point to rotate from, and rotate in. Now, this is too big. I want to scale it from this point. How do I scale it from this point? I go to the scale tool, hold down the option key and click. Now it's going to scale from that point. I'm going to scale this starting at 90%. And if that's not enough, command D, command D, command D to duplicate the transformation. Object, transform, duplicate. Anything that falls under this category, I can duplicate by hitting command D. Go to the rotation tool, pick a point to rotate from, pick a point to rotate to. Etc. Etc. So I can basically start building my spirals exactly where I want to place them. Simple, simple technique. Now here's another technique you might want to pay attention to. You can do clusters of spirals. So as an example, let's say that I had this spiral connected to here. Okay, move this away. So I'm going to go to the rotation tool, pick a point to rotate from, rotate back. So let's say this spiral can bond with this spiral, can bond with this spiral. So I'm going to pick a point to rotate from, pick a point to rotate from, and rotate back. Select and move it into place. So now I can group these together. Select the spirals, command G, command G groups them. Therefore, when I want to select this, I can just select once, hold down the Option key, select once, select twice, select the entire group. Very nice technique. Select once, hold down the option key, select twice, select the whole entire group. Because the objects are now grouped. So let's do another cluster. So I'm going to take this spiral, connect it to this spiral, and connect this to this spiral. Our rotation. Pick a point to rotate from and rotate back. Let's take this spiral, option key drag, 